Hello students, welcome to Data Structures and Algorithm Unit 1, Lecture 6. In this lecture, we will be discussing more about Spark statements. So, let me give a fast recap of the if statement in Sparks. Okay, so if a condition C is true, then a set of statements S1 is executed. Otherwise, nothing happens. So, this is the first variation of if. The second variation of if statement is if C then S1 else S2. Although it is literally clear, let me show it with an example. Okay. So, we have a condition C. Now, if this condition is true, if this condition is true, a set of statements S1 is executed. If this statement is false, we have another set of statements S2 which is executed. Okay, so the condition decides whether the set of statements S1 is executed or S2 is executed. Only either of this or this will be executed. Okay, hope it is clear. So here we have an else case additionally to the previous conditional testing. Okay, so we have seen conditional testing of two kinds. Now let us switch gears and see what a loop is. Okay, what is a loop? When we need to perform the same set of statements or we need to perform a task so many number of times, you need to iterate. You need to iterate a task. Then we need to perform looping. So, let us see what is a while loop first. While C S. Okay. While C. Okay. It is not S. It is not S. It is D. While C do. Okay. Here the set of statements. We need to write the set of statements. And here we have end. So, if this condition is true alone, the set of statements is executed. Every time it executes the set of statements, again it will check the condition and it will again execute. So, this happens continuously. This loops continuously. When C is false alone, it will come out of the loop. So, end denotes the set of statements, end of the set of statements. Okay. So, let me show it to you using a flowchart. Okay. So, we have the condition which is checked. The condition is checked initially. If the condition is true alone, we have the set of statements, yes, which is executed. Okay. And after this condition is executed, set of statements is executed. Again, the condition is checked. Okay. So, this is the main difference between conditional and the looping statements, right? And what happens if this condition is false? It comes out of the loop. Okay, it comes out of the loop. Right. So, this is about while loop. We have one another loop which is called the repeat until loop. Watch carefully. There is a very thin line of difference between while and repeat until. Okay. So, what happens in repeat until Let's see the syntax first. Repeat. Yes, that is the set of statements. And we have until then the condition. So, what happens here? We first execute the set of statements. Okay. We first execute the set of statements. Then we check the condition. Okay, then we check the condition. If the condition is false, then it again executes the statements. Watch the difference. Here only if the condition is false, it executes it again. That is the difference between repeat until and 
while so the condition is false then it loops again if the condition is true then it comes out of the loop so this is the main difference between repeat until and while loop okay yes and one another important difference between repeat until and while is the set of statements is executed at least once at least one time yes is always executed okay yes is always executed in repeat until but this is not the case in while okay now let us see one another kind of loop which is a forever loop see the syntax loop set of statements then we have the keyword forever so what is this loop this is an infinite loop this is an infinite loop what do we mean by this the set of statements keep executing continuously in a loop in a looping fashion okay so the set of statements keep executing continuously this is a loop forever the next concept is go to so what is go to go to and we have a label so whenever we see a go to label what happens it transfers the control to the label this go to statement it transfers the control to the label okay the label may be anywhere in the procedure it can be found anywhere in the code okay there is one another kind of statement which is called exit what is exit what is exit this will transfer the control to the first statement after the innermost loop okay so it helps to jump out of the loop to the immediate next step okay so this is about exit so where will we use exit can you imagine a situation where we can use exit now let's see one such case here we have a loop forever here we have a loop forever so this is an infinite loop as we all know this is an infinite loop okay the set of statements s1 is executed first if condition is true then exit please note here we have the exit then we have a set of statements s2 so what happens here this loop forever keeps executing infinitely but there is one possibility where this loop can terminate this condition when this condition becomes true it will jump out of the loop so this is a perfect example of exit inside a loop forever okay so let us now illustrate it with an flow chart okay now so initially we have a set of statements s1 which is executed then we will check for the condition okay we check for the condition okay so if this condition is false what happens if this condition is false then we have the set of statements s2 executed and this loop will continue okay so this is the loop but what happens if this condition is true 
If this condition is true, we have the exit statement which takes it out of the loop. Hope you are getting it right. Hope you are getting it right. So, we will continue this in the next lecture. Thank you.